What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Ronka7. It has been nine hours since my previous recording where I spoke about Naruto, which gave my thoughts on the entire anime, the manga. And I had to set up my phone so that I could actually still be able to read the last two chapters, which thankfully I have. Let's see, was the ending satisfying? No, no. Of course, this is just a setup for the final movie, which probably will be satisfying, but I'm still not going to watch it. And here's the big point I want to get across. Shonen anime can have, and it cannot be satisfying in any way, because you have 150 plus chapters dedicated to this one series, and we know you can practically carry this on forever. In terms of storytelling, we know Kishimoto is not going to live forever to tell the story of Naruto, but we know that if he had a successor who know how all his little tidbits, odds, and ends, you could practically have the series go on forever, and that includes any shonen anime. So, any kind of conclusion, any way you can wrap it up is going to be a bit unsatisfying. It's like an 80 plus hour RPG game. The ending is going to make you feel a bit empty. And plus, because it's a shonen, you're going to end up with a storybook ending, no matter what. And I, for one, do not like storybook happy-go-lucky endings. But... You can get over that. I really liked 699 as a chapter. 700 with the introduction of all those new characters. Really, everyone pretty much has a kid. But I don't really remember some of the wives. Who, do, who are the wives? I do get a little bit confused. I think I recognize the girl Choji had from the Sand Village. She was part of that squad, but everyone else, it was a bit weird. Also, the way some of the characters aged. Like, Anko? Not. I mean, she turned fat, but that's besides the point. Kuranai. I didn't recognize her at all. And I'm also a bit confused on the timeline. Some characters look like they went from 30 to 70, and some just went from 18 to 24, 26. Like, what, what's going on, man? It is a bit confusing. But other than that, whatever. It was, it was a good... It was a good ending, it wrapped everything up. The movie is going to give us a bit more action. But I'm not really interested in that. I'm not gonna watch a movie. I was originally going to speak about like some of the Naruto video games. But now that I think about it, the reason I'm not gonna get too into it is because well While it would be nice to review the series, I am an intoddler. I was an intoddler for like five years. So there was Ultimate Ninja series, which I can only play on my PSP because I was an intoddler. Didn't have the PlayStation 2 anymore back then. It was kind of like Super Smash Brothers with a background and foreground. 
You could walk or interact with destructible items, destructible parts of the environment that have items in them, little RPG elements added. Instead of an arcade mode, there was an RPG mode where they had like some tacked on filler story. Now within the canon of the series, and you could interact with some of the characters. So that was kind of cool. But I got Clash of Ninja, which was more like Tekken. Like that kind of 3D fighter. So I was playing that a lot more. And I think I preferred that in terms of fight pacing, how balanced it actually was compared to Ultimate Ninja. Even though the story modes was just like a few story arcs that you could play through. And there was no detail. Most of it was just text, just minimal exposition, dialogue. It was more like a visual novel without the interactivity. And then you got into the fight. So, the visual novel stuff, no choice, fight. With a random stipulation added to it. That was one thing I didn't like, the stipulations. Then Ultimate Ninja Storm came out, and well, I didn't have that game, a lot of my friends did, and they seem hyped for it. Whatever, it's all Gucci for me. That one looked great. And I predicted there, there would be a name for Naruto game with the word Storm in it, but whatever, it was, it was whatever. Because I never got to play it. But that looked great. Because it actually looked like the anime. But better. Because. There was more budget. There was more detail. There was more animation. Than the actual anime. And. Yeah, it looked a lot less cheap. So I can imagine the anime looking like that. But two dimensional instead of cell shade. If it had a better budget, if they actually put in more money for that and, and like took it away from other projects that Studio Period might be working on. But that's suicidal. Uh, final details. I really like how you saw the straw hat symbol that darts, whatever, Naruto's son, like drew on painted over the five comic day summit I call it the Hokage Mount Rushmore but that's really what you call it the five comic day summit I guess it just shows you a tribute to one artist from the other but I guess that pretty much wraps up my thoughts on the series I look really weird right now but whatever it's been Mr. Monk 7 and respect the king. That's it, man. Can't believe they have me doing this shit.